good morning it's a beautiful monday go ahead like subscribe share so i wanted to make a video really quickly about consistency and making consistency a practice um, i really wanted to uh, share this because i think too often we get frustrated when we don't see the fruits of our labor in a specified timeline or when we want them to we would like to see it tomorrow uh, I think too often people go into this and say, well, I want to be less stressed tomorrow. Well, to be, you can't get less stressed overnight. Um, and part of that has to do with the fact of if we want to work at something or we want to improve something, we have to do it consistently over time in order to see the benefits of the work. Uh, I recall... Um, I used to go to the gym and work out and then I would go home and step on the scale and I would be like, what happened, right? I would want to see the benefits of that workout right then. But I started to tell myself that I won't see the benefits of this workout until two weeks from now. And that allowed me to be able to be more intentional about my workouts and to go out and do my workout in fullness and understanding that that work that I was putting in then, that I would see maybe in two weeks or maybe three weeks or a month later, right? And I think it's the same way with contemplative practice. I think some of us go into this work and saying, oh, I wanna be less stressed by tomorrow, or I wanna be a better person by tomorrow, or I wanna be in tune with my body by tomorrow, but too often being in tune with your body takes time. Being mindful about how your body responds to certain triggers takes time to figure those things out and that's hard work um, but I think we can work through that through consistency um, and I think it's important that we make small manageable goals as we work our way up to if we want to sit for 20 minutes that okay for this week I'm gonna sit for one minute for three days a week and then the next week is gonna be for one minute for four days a week. And then the next week it may be two minutes for five days, right? But more importantly, we have to be consistent over time. Now this isn't to say that you need to you know, meditate every day or journal every day. Um, we may see the best benefits of that if we do it each day. But what I think is more important is that we're consistent with our practice because I believe the consistency will allow us to be able to be better over time uh, or to improve on whatever craft that is. And so I think as we go through this week, I want us to think about, well, how can I be consistent in my practice? If I've been off for a week or two, well, what do I need to do to get myself back on track? It may be diving in very slowly. Um, again, too often we just want to dive in immediately and do yoga for one hour when that may not be the best way to better improve and become consistent over time. So it may be five minutes of yoga here, five minutes later, uh, five minutes on another day, but more importantly, we have to be consistent. So that's a quick video um, that I wanted to share and to really, for us this week, to be mindful about being consistent in our practice. And if we've fallen off, let's get back on track. So maybe you need to get you an accountability buddy, put it in your Google Calendar, write it on your refrigerator, whatever you need to do to remind yourself to be consistent this week. But I offer that in this week to help us to be more consistent about our practice.